Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, I know we've started with new products, haven't we? So excited to bring you three products today. Um, we have the beautiful scalloped craft treat boxes. You get a pack of eight. They come flat, flat packed and you have a lid and a base so they are super fun you can adhere them together or you could leave them as I have so I'm just going to quickly make this one up for you so fold it the opposite way if you want to get that bone folder in there you can and then I folded these in and then brought them back out just again to sort of reinforce that fold. Gorgeous gold spots on. And then we're just going to fold the bottom up. It is just as simple as that. So that is your little box base. And then your lid, you do exactly the same with. So I'm going to fold this over. And when you have your new catalogue, if you haven't already got them, these are on page 137 with a lot of other new delightful stuff. Okay, I'm not going to put my lid, my lid together because I want to use it to make this project. Okay, but it is exactly the same. Fold it over, tuck that in, and then it sits on top. And as I said, you could either use them like this and use them as a lidded box, or you could glue and adhere these bits down and then use this part instead. So it's entirely your choice. They are completely versatile. So I'm going to pop that bit to one side because to decorate mine, I've used this beautiful new bundle, colour and contour. Um, as you can see, sort of, I would, my way of describing them would be sort of freehand style pictures. Um, two steps, so we've got the outline and then the, the colouring in. A lovely bit of splodges here, some leaves, some sketched flowers, and again the two step to colour them in. And then some really lovely sentiments with some great fonts. I, I really quite like these sort of scribbly, scribbly fonts. Um, but yeah, so those are the stamps. They are photopolymer. And what we have now, instead of messing about with stuff, these don't have the images on the plastic. You have them on the inside of your box. So they're actually on um, the insert which is brilliant because you just then pop this in place and you can see where everything goes. So it, I, I prefer this. I think this is brilliant. Um, so yeah, so those are the stamps and then the scalloped contours dies that go with it are fab. So as you can see, we've got some brilliantly um, decorated rectangles here. We've got this beautiful scalloped edging here. And then we've got the flower and the stemmed flower that you can die cut that will obviously go with the flower and that one. So yeah, I, I think these are gorgeous. Um, and then finally, as you may well have also spotted, some really beautiful, gorgeous grape sheer ribbon, which is really nice. And Gorgeous Grape is a colour that I don't use much of, but wow, I love this ribbon. So let's get making this because we've taken long enough. So if you remember, maybe two, three weeks ago, I heat embossed uh, mini shipping boxes. <coughs> so I thought, well, I don't want to heat emboss again because it's just the same thing. So I didn't. I just mementoed them. So I have my beautiful flower here. So I'm going to pop on my D-block and then I also have a C-block 
probably a bit big, but that's for my leaves there. In with my memento, and just remember that this rounded edge here will be the front of your box. So if you are stamping anything that wants direction, you need to make sure you've got it the right way. And then, as I said, I've just gone in with my memento. And I kind of placed these because I was aware that I wanted my tag and ribbon to have, you know, to be able to be seen. So that's those. Sorry, that stamp didn't look very clean then. I think I need more ink on my stamp and scrub. And then just these lovely leaves, which, again, like I said, I've just sort of randomly stamped on there okay and then I'm back in with my watercolour pencils the, the assortment two I haven't mixed them this time um, so same scenario um, and for this one I used the one that stuck in the corner so I've got gorgeous grape and knight of navy for the flowers I actually used a little bit of the crushed curry for the centre of the flowers and granny apple green and garden green for the leaves. And then I've got my blender pen too. Um, and again, now I did this really, really quickly and rough. Again, because I went with the image of how sort of sketched the flowers were so I just literally went round I'm not even staying in the lines I've just gone round with my pencil and just sort of as you can see <laughs> I'm really not being delicate dainty precise just scribbling this pen down getting some colour on there and then my knight of navy Again, just sort of adding it to the sides of the leaves, if you like. And then the same with this one, just adding adding it to the sides. And then I'm just going to get my crushed curry just to get a little bit of colour in the centre there get my blending pen now you can probably see that the tip of my blending pen is dark but it doesn't affect anything it is clean you just give it a scribble on your grid paper or your pad or whatever and you'll see that it's clean and I'm literally now just doing exactly the same as I did with that pencil I'm not really blending per se, I suppose I'm just smoothing out the pencil marks. <laughs> and it's, this is why I think these are just fantastic gift packaging ideas. Um, you buy somebody a small gift and you think, oh, I really need to wrap it, but I don't have time. I haven't got paper. I need to go to the shop. Well, no, just keep some boxes in and some pencils. And you're, you're away. All right, so getting rid of the ink off that one. And then I'm going back in again now with granny apple green on the leaves. Again, just not precise, just getting that colour on. And then a bit of the garden green here. Back in again with my blending pen. Again, just sort of smoothing out the colour a bit. And that's it. Get rid of that. Make sure my blending pen's clean. That's those done. And that's my, my box decorated in terms of what I'm doing with it. So I'm just going to make this make this box lid up. 
But aren't these just so cute? And they're such a good size. I mean, what are they? Three and a half by three and a half inches. And they are two and a half inches deep. So they're a good size. Pretty little flowers. So then in with my gorgeous grape ribbon. That always makes me chuckle. Give that a trim. And no, I haven't done um, like two different colourways. Obviously, normally I'd like to do a different DSP or a different colour, but I just wanted to get projects out to you to show you these new stuff, these new things, because who just doesn't love new stuff? And the catalogue goes live on the 4th of May. And don't forget, if your wish list, shopping list, or any other kind of list is over £99, then consider joining because you get such a better deal that way and if you are interested just drop me a line an email a message facebook my blog anything really okay so there's my my beautiful little bow oh i nearly forgot i'm adding another new project product product to the mix as well Baker's Twine Essential Pack. Five reels. Look at that. Um, very vanilla, basic black, basic white. I'm going to say crumb cake and soft, soft? Smoky slate, but I'm not actually sure if it's smoky slate or if it's grey. Grey granite. I think it's more grey. Grey granite, grey granite. I think it's more of that. Um, but yeah. Amazing. You get more white because I think they know that we're going to use the white a lot. Um, so yeah, so a bit of the uh, good old white twine. Can't beat having some twine, but yeah, an essential pack. I mean, it just, well, I said it's essential, isn't it? Perfect. Right. So I now just need some basic white. I need my scalloped contours dies and this cute little rectangle here. I then need my little mini mini machine. So I'm just gonna pop. And yes, I know I'm I'm gonna die cut before I stamp, but it's okay because it's a photopolymer stamp set, so. I can see through. Oh, run this through. See how it worked first time. So pleased. So, so pleased. Right, I'm just going to... You know me and my tidiness. I've just got to get rid of these little dots that are stuck on my plates. I can't deal with those. <laughs> I'm afraid. Right, let's get this little beast out of the way. Oops, that's my cup of tea. Well, empty cup of tea anyway. About ready for another one. Hopefully my son will be home soon and I can encourage him to make me one, I think. Okay, so um, where is it? Gorgeous grape ink. And back to my stamp. So let's put these away. And I'm putting them away because I want to show you that if you... I don't have to know where I've got that on there. If you lay this down, you can then see where to position your stamps when you want to put them back. So you know they'll fit. Unless you're like me and just don't do it properly. There we go. <laughs> see? So then this one is the one I want. You are amazing. Pop that on there. In with my beautiful ink and as I said this is photopolymer so I can see through see how I got the loop of the O around the dot <laughs> okay I did do that on purpose it wasn't just lucky um, and then I did sponge the edges of this one with um, one of our sponge daubers but to be honest I don't know if it needs it I'm going to leave this one plain 
Um, and then this is the fiddliest of fiddly jobs, getting this through. Now, I, my, unfortunately, my um, needle that I used was just too thick for the whole... Oh, look at that, first time. Um, so, yeah, it was a case of fiddling for ages with it. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to pop that on there. This I want to go under, so I'm actually going to use, instead of fighting and messing up that bow, if I took this under here, it will still go under the bow without me messing too much. And then I just need to tie this and I'm going to double, double knot it. There we go, and then just trim. Crikey, I got a bit excited and used far too much of this twine. Trim those ends there. And that is your scalloped craft treat box. Long title, but certainly worth it. But aren't they lovely? And yeah, I, I don't think we needed the, the sponging. She can't actually see it. But yeah, there they are. Can you hear my dog dreaming? She's having a dream, bless her. Thank you for joining me, guys. And don't forget to pop back on Thursday for some more new products. See you all soon. Bye.